This is my wife, Danielle. She's a terrific mom. She cares and she's there for the kids whenever they need it. As well as being a full-time mom, she's also a nurse at the neonatal intensive care unit at our local hospital. Police officers make sure I think in many ways it's her dream job, holding and comforting the tiny babies while their parents are at home catching up on some sleep. Who are in trouble. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's not all great. Some of the babies are very sick, and she's not unaccustomed to a difficult day at work. Lately, with all that's happening in the world, the prospect of her going into the hospital has taken a more ominous tone. There's a real weight in the air around our house before she has to go in for a shift. We found the best thing to do in these times is to gather up the family and go on an adventure. Just go find a place where we can explore and just be with each other. Where do you want to go? Not really worry about what's going on with the rest of the world. Uh, on a hike? Let's just go on an adventure. Right? Hey, yes. Guys. We're lucky that we live in a place where we can find secluded areas. Where we can go to a place and not see anybody. It's a great way to spend time in isolation. It's amazing how quickly our moods are elevated once we get out into the open expanses of nature. A chance to decompress our stressed out minds. You know, and ants, can you see the ants? An escape from the daily realities, if only for a moment. Soon, we're all looking for the best skipping rock. The nastiest fish carcass. And any other treasures our adventure offers us. We found our nice secluded beach. Danny has to go to work tomorrow at the hospital and none of us, uh, none of, not her nor me, I want her to go to work tomorrow, but uh, you know, that's what she signed up for. So she's gonna do it and, and we'll get through it, but uh, it's a little heavy. Did Kevin pee? Oh my gosh. It's been said that the toughest times make for the greatest teachers. I'm not going to claim to know what the lesson is to learn from all of this. But I can't help but think it includes being conscious of what you're paying attention to. In this time of uncertainty, 
Focusing on what's right in front of you and what you care about is really all that matters. Well, I mean, I feel apprehensive because I don't know what it's going to be like. No, I don't love the idea of wearing a mask and gown and all those things to take care of babies and parents because it just makes it more impersonal. But you're not fearful of the virus at all? Well, I mean, I am, but I still have a job to do, right? There's babies there that need to be looked after and there's parents that need to be... They need guidance and they need support. Mommy! You're going to make it hard for me, aren't you, Jude? <laughs> but. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to attach this to your back. While I appreciate everyone's <laughs> okay. appreciation and thanks, oh, I don't yeah. love the okay. idea of being called a hero. Okay, Penny, let go. Because I don't feel like I'm a hero. I'm a doggy! 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 <laughs> it just makes it feel like it's different than it actually is. You know, it's not. It paints a pretty picture of what it is, but it's not that pretty. Because you don't have a choice. Because you don't have a choice. I mean, you want to be there for your patients, obviously. You don't want to bail out and leave them hanging, but it doesn't mean you don't feel afraid, and it doesn't mean you don't feel like you don't want to leave your family. And we don't know what this is going to look like and while I may be in one of the more safer areas I worry a lot about my colleagues I worry about you know people I know that work in different areas and what happens to them there's a bit of anticipatory grief involved where you are expecting to lose some of your peers Just like everything, soon this will be over. What will the world look like when this is all over? Will the lessons we learn carry on with us to the future? Or will it become just a memory of things past? Only time will tell. So for now, all I can do is concentrate on what's right in front of me. Hi everyone, Mike here. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know it's a bit of a somber tone to this one, but it's just kind of the reality we're living in right now. Who knows how long this is going to last. Obviously, the point of the whole film is to enjoy the things in front of you and focus on what matters. If you enjoyed this video or you're still watching, maybe give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content from me. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.